keeping your attention on that which doesn't change. And recognizing that anything else that changes is not real. No matter what that is, anything that changes, anything that comes and goes is not real. And there is only one thing that doesn't come and go. Keeping your attention on that. That which doesn't come and go. Versus everything else that comes and goes. And that's how you become free from the Maya from the illusion. And so you won't fall back into the trap. That's the only way you can free yourself. Otherwise, the world that appears to be, what appears on consciousness, it could be very, very frightening because it has no stability. No matter how well you try to position yourself to be stable, something's gonna happen. Like for example, right now, this virus in China. And we haven't got the news, you know, we can get the news that it's spreading all over the world and it's killing everybody and it can keep you in this paranoia of really fear. If it supposedly spreads. So you can go through all these ups and downs because no matter how much money you have, no matter how well you've secured yourself, you got a few different homes around the world, you got your retirement money, you got all the things you wanted set up, but now what are you gonna do about an airborne virus that has come to your town? How are you going to, and no one has any cure for it. Now, what are you gonna do now? So what it's going to do is it's going to create a lot of fear and anxiety. Whether it's going to do anything to you or not. It will, if you're not trained, you haven't done your work. You're not really focused. You don't know about the truth. What is real and what is not real. So you are still identified to what comes and what goes, including this body, including your thoughts and your emotions. You believe what comes and goes is real. So then that comes with fear and anxiety and worry until your attention gets laser focused on that which doesn't move, that which doesn't come and go. That's the only thing that is real. You bring your attention on that. You work on that. And you ignore everything else. Then you will see that nothing in this life, nothing in this existence can touch you. It has no power on touching you. It cannot affect you because you're focused on the very truth of I am. The presence, that which doesn't come and go that which is always here. Everything else is an appearance on consciousness. It appears 
and it disappears. They're not real. You may say, well, how come all these other people, they're not following this practice? You know, how come just a handful of people on the planet, they're attracted to these teachings? I don't see millions of people going in this direction. Millions of people are going that direction. Well, millions of people are going to suffer because they're identified to what comes and goes. And only those handful of people who've done their work and they're really focused on the very truth of the being, on the I am, are the ones who don't buy into the story. They stay centered. Now that doesn't mean we're ignorant and we're not looking at things and paying attention to things and we're sleepy. That's not it. You're completely aware and awake and alert. I just want you to know one thing, that all is well. Keep God at your focal point of your attention. And stay in this place always with yourself. And when you have God in your heart, God in your life, there's nothing to be afraid of. And no matter what happens, what kind of news you get, you just keep focused and keep your attention on the center of yourself and keep connected to the life force within you. And fear appear and they disappear. But when you keep connected and you stay focused and you feel the presence of Her Majesty, the Supreme Soul, the love of God here in your heart, then that takes over your life. And no force, no fear, no anxiety has any place. It may just appear for a moment in your life, but it will disappear and it can overrule you. When we have God in our life, God as the focal point, and I'm not talking about God as the one who punishes, I'm not talking about that image of God that's been implanted in our minds. I'm talking about the love, the presence, that's the one I'm talking about. And when you invite that and you get intimate with what's here in your heart, what's here present, which is the very, very source of your pulse, it's the very source of your pulse of your heart, the presence, the, the love, the light, the being, the spirit, then nothing can rock your world. Nothing can touch you because the power gets stronger and stronger. And it's like an invisible shield is created around you of love and light. And it will guide you step by step on this journey. And it gets stronger and stronger 
as you keep your focus on it.